Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nezio Cole, and recently I realized that I haven't fully played through the original Life is Strange game in over three years, so I figured, why not? Why not play it again? And I picked up on a few things that I just wanted to talk about in a video. This isn't really a structured video or anything, it's just literally just me talking right after beating the game for the fourth or fifth time. By the way, there are spoilers for this video, just letting you guys know, so spoilers for Life is Strange. If you guys haven't played it, I highly, highly recommend you guys play it and then come back to this video. So the main thing that I really want to talk about is how much Life is Strange really sucks you into the story. It's really hard to put into words how much atmosphere this game has. By the way, the vibes that you get when playing this game at 3 a.m. are just unreal. Everything between the way the lighting is to the sound design is really just amazing. So one of my favorite parts of this game is actually right after you leave the train tracks, the junkyard with Chloe and you're back at Blackwell and it's a, a little rainy, kind of gray outside. I mean, obviously, if you've played the game before, you know what's about to happen. But uh, right before it happens, when you're walking around, when you're talking to Warren, when you're talking to David, when you're just walking around the halls, uh, there's the Vortex Club party, you're talking to the people who are setting that up. And it just, it really, really took me out of reality. Like that, that moment right there was just, I was just completely, anything that was happening outside was just irrelevant to me. Because I care so much about these characters. I care so much about Kate. And I know what's about to happen. First of all, I love thunderstorms. That's just something with me, random tangent, but I love thunderstorms. I love when it's gray outside, it's rainy. And it kind of has that like muffled rain sound when you're in the classrooms. And this being my fourth or fifth time playing through the game, I started to notice things that I really never noticed before. Like when you're talking to Mr. Jefferson and he's in the back and he actually is like, oh, I can't talk right now. He's probably talking, he's talking to like Nathan or, or whoever else is running the dark room. So then I played through the rest of that episode and I actually got really emotional when I was up there with Kate, trying to get up there with Kate, even though I know exactly how it was going to go down. I knew exactly which options to press to have a positive outcome but I just felt so emotional for this person that my brain knows that it my brain knows that th these people are not real these are video game characters but it's just the weirdest thing I feel an actual emotional attachment to these characters and I don't know something about seeing them on the rooftop hugging right as the scene is coming to a close is just so it just hit me like uh with joy that I saved a friend and in a lot of ways Max reminds me of myself I want to be nice to everyone I'm not you know, trying to pick a fight randomly, which is why any chance that the game gave me, I was there to help Kate. I erased the link in the bathroom, which I'm pretty sure most people would have done. I made sure to take her call in the diner when we were about to leave with Chloe, which by the way, that was kind of the stupidest thing ever. I get that Chloe's supposed to be like this angsty teen or whatever, but it's like, you know, you can take phone calls while you're walking. You can take, you know, it's like, it It, it was like a, what, like a 30 second phone call and she's getting upset over 30 second phone like I don't know it just seemed kind of ridiculous to me and but of course I'm gonna take that because it's obviously the right thing to do no matter how upset Chloe is at the moment and then I played through that episode I saved Kate and we had the meeting in Principal Wells office and uh then the credits hit and it hit me that I was in real life like it current situation in the world just kind of disappeared from my mind for a while and it was really, really, really calming. Nothing else has really been able to do that for me, and that is why Life is Strange is my favorite narrative game, or just, it's definitely up there for, for narrative experiences in general, whether that be movie, TV. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on this video. Sorry it's a, a little different than most of my other videos, but it really just made me feel so much emotion that I wanted to talk about it. So yeah, if you guys have any comments, experiences with Life is Strange that you would like to share down in the comment section below, make sure to do that and I'll make sure to reply. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later. Peace.